Welcome to this Q&A of the day video in association with TLC Electrical Wholesaler, renowned for quality, value, and customer service. Today's question is, what is the difference between a type AC and a type A RCD? Well, if you head over, for example, to the Luden website, you'll see their product description page for RCBOs, and you'll notice that there's two different RCBO types, an AC and an A. Now, for many years, we mainly installed AC types, and they performed perfectly adequately, because most loads at this time were simple resistive loads with very little in the way of electronics. However, as time's gone on, the types of loads we've started to connect have become increasingly sophisticated with larger amounts of electronics inside them. And these types of load have a nasty habit of injecting or leaking DC electricity into our AC network. Now, when this leaked DC passes through an AC type RCD, it will saturate or stun the RCD and stop it from tripping when an earth fault occurs. Now, as that is what an RCD does, that's its purpose, this is a massive problem and could potentially cause faults not to clear, leading to serious problems for the installation and harm to people. Now, the slightly more experienced electricians among us will remember the old D-lock function that certain testers used to have. It would temporarily saturate the RCD with DC, so you could then perform an earth fault loop impedance test without tripping the RCD. Well, that could be happening to your RCD protection all the time with these electronic loads connected. Now, it may be that you're thinking, well, my house or the installation I'm working on doesn't have any fancy loads that are likely to leak DC into the system. But we're not talking about mystical or exotic loads here. We're talking about things like washing machines, electronic loads like entertainment systems and things like that. And it's only going to increase as we get more and more things like photovoltaic inverters, EV chargers and battery storage systems. So that means that for a huge amount of modern installations, an AC RCD may not be suitable anymore as it won't operate under fault conditions. However, a type A RCD can handle up to 6 milliamps of DC passing through it and still be able to trip when it detects an earth fault. So in reality, if you're installing RCD protection in circuits that you know are only going to protect loads that don't leak DC into the system, then type AC is acceptable. If, however, the circuit is going to inject DC into the system, then you need to start looking at installing type A and potentially move up the scale to type F or even type B. If you don't, then it could be that your RCD protection is completely obsolete and won't do its job. So check out the great range of RCD protection that Luden provide to keep your installation safe and compliant. Now, as always, if you have any comments or questions, then please leave them below or reach out to us through the usual social media channels. Thank you very much for watching.